uh, I want to go through with you to this uh, video you know what I'm saying this is for educational purposes only you know what I'm saying YouTube and uh, everyone who's watching this is for educational purposes only entertainment purposes only don't come around blocking and deleting because uh, this needs to be out you know I got a message for the people about this religion and I, I want to show you how the thing actually works because uh, you're going to see more and more activities of religion yeah not new religions but all the religions that change change shape change form and come back in different like mutations okay and how these people are all uh, objects are all conductives and uh, like ions of this uh, corporation because this uh, church thing is all corporation let's go this country belongs to god almighty a powerful minority is on the rise with a particular vision of america you cannot separate god from politics you can't take them out of our government it's one of the oldest and most you hear that? she said you can't separate their god from politics they go together and you know what politics is you need to investigate what mean politics because it's it is another god yeah and you know your god told you you cannot worship two masters you either will serve the other and neglect the other but either way you can serve two masters but this is the derision that comes out of this class. Let's go. U.S. politics. But in a country deeply divided, the Christian right has found a new voice. We desire to live in a Judeo-Christian mm -hmm. nation with Judeo-Christian values. Mm -hmm. It claims Christianity is under attack and that God belongs in government with pastors preaching its message in church. Now, you have to understand the deception. Open. They're telling you the truth subliminally that the God belongs in the government. Government is God, God government. You know what I'm saying? And that all that Jesus babble, okay? It's nothing but a simulation. That's all you need to know about these dudes. You know what I'm saying? Because they came to deceive they themselves are being deceived okay we're gonna see how candidates in the midterm elections i'm a christian and i say it probably we should be christian nationalists the movement mm -hmm. is known to many as christian nationalism and the far right is taking it to the extreme we are the christian taliban some are okay. warning that this is fundamentally undemocratic so as you can see amplified, as you can see, they building the Jesus Christian Taliban in America. I already show you what happened to Africa, how the their ID, yeah, their identity, it's always the religion because they don't know the ancestors, and they have no connection to them or to the earth or nothing. So, all we have here are people that believe in religion you understand that and i just like in africa as i explained to you people that believe in religion are easy to manipulate and uh, they be, they have been manipulated the whole way around anyway for what we know and for what we showed you you know what i'm saying so once they perceive chaos or feel threatened by whatever economic means war whatever they tend to they tend to, to gather together you know these organized christians you know what i'm saying not not like the african christians they just to be exploited but anyway they all exploited anyway because these these christians don't exist without the government as you say they tell you that government is god you know what i'm saying so, as this happened, 
you never hear Jesus coming to save them. But you see a man that has the name of always uh, Messiah, that's the, in this case is Trump, you know what I'm saying? He's the Messiah, Jesus Messiah. So the Savior, my Savior Trump, it is God is, is ready, you know what I'm saying? He knows what's up, you know what I'm saying? So they got that thing going and uh, they preparing a new Christian tribe I mean, strengthening it to another type of vibration because they are the ones that were vibrating all the immoral stuff in the schools for the kids and everything. All Christians that were giving them, you know, they can do whatever they want. But now, war, well, we're going to be uh, <laughs> radical Christians. And after you've been radical Christians, because you have been before, according to your own history, you were radical. There were no gay people. There were no GM, uh, whatever you call it, back there, when Christianity first started, because they were radical. If anybody did these things, it would be hidden. Nobody would know about it. But if it comes to the light, they will hang your ass. They will torture you. They will kill you, man. But now that they left, went from radical to <laughs> to non -tol uh, to tolerant, and now want to go from tolerant to radical. That's all they're going to do. I told you they don't have no ID, no back ancestors or nothing. Their ID is the religion. The religion is the government that they form, and is run by men. Let's go. Trump, we're going to protect Christianity, and I can say that. I don't have to be politically correct. Powered by his election mm -hmm. loss, it broke cover at the storming of the Capitol on January 6th last year. You can't diminish what happened on January 6th from what's happening in some sanctuaries on Sunday morning. Their crusade is starting from the ground up, and education is the front line. Our school board meetings have police officers at the meetings to escort people out who get too out of control. To understand this moment in U.S. politics, you have to understand this movement. I met people across the country who feel they're battling for the soul of America. crazy people. It's crazy. Tarrant County, known for conservative churches, wealthy white neighborhoods, and good schools. It's America's largest Republican urban community, and it helped elect Donald Trump. But in 2020, Joe Biden won here by a hair. This politically crucial corner of Texas has become a testing ground for how conservatives can maintain their grip. Mm -hmm. It's 6.30 in the morning. Like every parent, Lainey Hawes is rushing to get her children ready for the day. But in the past few months, she spent more and more of her time focused on schooling, fighting back against what she believes is growing conservative and Christian influence in the classroom. Here when we first go. got here, everything was mild. School board meetings were boring. Um, and then everything ramped up to this, and this is where we are now, and it's a fight, right? Our school board meetings have police officers at the meetings to escort people out who get too out of control. So you can see right there that when when they have these kids, yeah, and they are so young, the first thing they introduce them to is the religion. They give them the religion and they tell them that, you know, the God, how you got to serve the God, etc., etc., which is traumatic for the kids because these kids are not, not going to know about their ancestors or how even they came to be in the earth or it doesn't matter where you came from but uh, the thing is if you don't even teach your your children where you came from you're not making doing them no favors telling them that they really do they know different than these africans man they know different people they just tell them about their old religion, and but these uh, white people do things a little bit different. They tell them that <laughs> they are religious government. You know what I'm saying? 
is a global thing. They come up with a global thing with laws and everything on the stuff until it becomes a government full. Yeah, and uh, they can do it at the level of, you know, radicalize the whole corporation, the whole U.S. corporation. The people there can be all called Christians if they decide that there are more Christians than uh, free people or other religions, then they are being recognized internationally as a Christian nation, like these all other nations. They just count how many religio, and they tell, look, it's this nation is, you know, it's this religion. So this is a, a sign, and uh, that's how they format everything around, and, you know, take, take play, uh, positions of war and stuff like that by denoting that religion, first thing. You know what I'm saying? And Arabs will denote their religions, and uh, black Muslims will <laughs> denote their religions, and the Moors will denote Christians and Muslims as well. And then you have people that don't believe in nothing. Yeah, believe in a greater force, but is not dealing with no uh, divisive uh, corporate energies that, you know, separates people into groups but we get, we're getting out of this let's go into video we are ground zero of the culture wars taking place across the country in tarrant county they're churning with disputes over what children are taught about sexuality gender identity the history of racism mm -hmm. and over what they should be allowed to read so but <laughs> as long as the church has been there all this time people they make the curriculum for these teachers. Who educate these teachers? The Christians, universities, right? They do it everything Christian, but in the end of the day, the hidden hand comes in and tells them that what curriculum they're going to run in these schools, because this is very important. Because... Uh, they don't want the religious curriculum on them totally. They want, but not like it at school. You know what I'm saying? Because they have a lot more to program the kids with, and uh, religion is just, you know, is something that is automatic. They don't need to have it even at school because it's out there everywhere. There's no escaping it. Right? So they want to use the school, the hidden hands, put their own agendas to teach these kids such and such that could be, you know, the immoral things, immoral uh, <laughs> curriculums, and uh, what they do, all this Christian stuff, what they do, they create a separate office that then run this stuff, you know what I mean? Separate from, you know, from the previous office. And they take over, and then they do whatever the hell they want, even that it's still a Christian nation doing abominations according to their book. But uh, their God seems power powerless because there is no order. The whole thing always comes to chaos because they're not in control of these things, as I explained to you. They are uh, believers in something that they themselves don't know. And uh, the last thing they know is really where they came from and uh, why they're here. <laughs> they don't know that, but they serve the purpose. Let's go. Guess what? Teachers shouldn't be forced to use your freaking made up fantasy pronouns. Fight like hell! This evasive censorship is much more than politics. This is about lives. Queer youth are at a substantially higher rate for suicide compared to the national average for adolescents. Not having support from your home, your peers, and your school means adverse mental health effects and eventually suicide attempts transforming low-profile elections into high-stakes political conflicts. And central to that is Christianity, but not through the pews. Remember when America stood for things like honor, freedom, personal responsibility, and faith? Enter a Texas cell phone company on a mission to protect conservative Christian values. Patriot Mobile spent nearly half a million dollars supporting 11 candidates in four districts. 
All of them won. We took over 11, four. 11, 11, 11 seats on school board took over four. So we it's part of a new playbook by Republicans to take over politics from the ground up, backed by political operatives like former Trump advisor Steve Bannon. One of the keys is these school boards, right? The school boards are the key that picks the lock. Talk to us about what you did in Tarrant County. Since then, those school boards have begun to put new restrictions on books and gender identity issues. You see that? That's what they do, people. They create so-called school boards. It's another office that is being created underneath. And this office then start introducing this new curriculum for the kids. You know what I'm saying? And uh, their solution to that, to stop that, is to increase the, the our, you know, Christianity and to increase how much, I mean, the severity of the, I mean, like, you know, make it more radical. That So that they perhaps can do away with this uh, section, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Because if it becomes too radical, then there is no no means they will create laws to make this disappear. Yeah, either by violence, because that's what they do. That's what Yahweh do. That's what they got, they're going to tell them to do. That, you know, it's my first name. If you don't move, we're going to move you. And they can move them eventually. But even if they move them out and the kids get the, all the Christian program, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to change anything anyway, because they will find another way to get them. There's many, many, many ways everything they do are coming from them. The kids themselves playing their computers, playing their mobile phones, and you see how the mobile phones and everything is meant to take your soul, scrolling around forever, you know what I'm saying? So they have many ways to get them to keep them unconscious, because they're not conscious about who they are or nothing, people. This is all religious, but one way or another, even if they do evil here with the kids, or they don't, it's going to be all religious, and the kids will go to some other type of oppression. And you know religious oppression is war and destruction. Let's go. The owner of Patriot Mobile, Glenn Story, recruited longtime political operator Lee Wamsgans to help mobilize the company's Christian message. As a mother and a, a, of you know school age kids, it's really quite concerning. We have never, in a time in in these cities that we were dealing with, had Christianity so um, so attacked. Um, attacked? What do you mean? Oh, look at some of the public um, the public comments in school boards and people calling Christianity a, a terrible racist. Well, if thing. if if Christianity is being attacked, okay, or is being not attacked, but exposed for what it is, and people take it to the heart, but you know you take it you take it you need to you know to think about it if it is being exposed. And people are not down with it no more. It is for a reason. Now, if you guys want to stay there in that position that I don't know what's happening to me, that's another story. That's your life. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we've been to that religion stuff. And uh, most of these people don't know who they are and are playing religion. Just like these Africans the reason that you we saw jumping with around. The reason we started because that is the mm -hmm. level of government that is, in fact, it, that is most impacting the future of our country. What we were seeing is the leftist indoctrination instead of education. So you feel you have a responsibility to bring God back into the schools in some way? No question. Mm -hmm. That's what you're doing. No question. Mm -hmm. We need to have a little bit more of faith in schools in the sense of we have to remove what I feel is ungodly stuff out of the school. Or put but how do this ungodly stuff got into the school in the first place when the school was godly? Can you explain that? The school was godly in your generation. There was none of this shit there. And in the generation of his dad, there was none of this shit there. But now, in his son's generation, you got all that motherfucking poison in the schools. 
destroying the, the souls of these little ones. And uh, you got these people, the adults, they don't know nothing else but to embrace the religion with all, you know, as strong as ever, being a radical, like all these other uh, dudes in Africa and in the Middle East, you know what I'm saying, do the radicalist uh, script, you know what I'm saying, which is no better than what's going on right now. Don't think he's, a, he's no better. He's no better. There's no solution of nothing out here. It's like for everybody. If you don't know who you are, you're not in a position of doing nothing right and you're a problem in the world. Okay? From, from the perspective that I'm coming, they all a big damn problem with the damn God that they trust. It's a god of war. It's a god of trouble. It's a god that changed. So before your schools didn't have the immoral stuff, the immoral, disgusting stuff that you have today. Because why? They were godly, right? As he says. But now is ungodly. So you went from godly schools to ungodly schools. Hold on, people. So, sorry about that, man, but that's what, it is what it is, man, as you can see. This is what they do, man. That's what they're going to continue to do, okay? In God we trust stuff, and uh, no salvation, people, no freedom, people. Let's go. Was godly into the school. Recently, Texas passed a law saying schools had to display posters of the national motto if they were donated. Mm -hmm. Patriot Mobile delivered hundreds. Laney and other parents saw an opportunity to take a stand. That, 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 you know, that slogan in God We Trust is even like outdated. It's, 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 uh, uh, what are you going to call it, man? It's disturbing, disturbing, man. Yeah. Because we, we can trust in your God. It's been proven. Nobody can trust in your God. The money is not worth shit. It goes up and down, up and down. You can't trust it. The law is not there. It goes up and down, up and down. Never do justice. Yeah? The, the churches are there. The immorality is still there. That God don't do nothing, as I explained to you. God them bring wind and confusion. So like, when you, you make these slogans, in God we trust, man, it's like, you're insulting us. You know? And you're insulting your own self, because I can't understand, you know, well, you were created for this. That's the only answer that you're going to get from this. Because an intelligent being, no way is going to stay in the same way, expect, expecting different results. Yeah, this is the way that they establish this this place, this hell, with in God we trust, and look what happened, and they just go back to it and think that everything is gonna be all right, you know. I want to finish this video soon, people, because it's, it's I don't want it to be too long, but you know. Shrab and Krishna has two children in school. He asked students to design signs that would include them. These were the voices he felt were unheard. Arabic speakers, transgender, and gay kids. The school board initially rejected the signs. The issue has gone to court. Mm -hmm. Schools shouldn't be a place where you have people competing with which God is the best God. <laughs> right. right. But that's where we are. Yeah. So it should never be that. You know, keep, keep your religion to yourself. Schools you are not the only place where people compete which God is the best God. In the whole entire world that they create, it's about that. The whole life reality they create is about that. The whole simulation is about that. So, if they do it in the school or outside of the school, it's always been the <laughs> the normal people. So these people talk about things that make no sense at all. 
They they steal in religion. That's what's up. Let's go. Churches, temples, right houses, or accept all gods. Yeah, mm -hmm. or or exactly. make it a place exactly. where everything. Exactly. Ab absolutely. Yeah. Yes. They got to have Even gods. Trump and the sides may mm -hmm. have been a political stunt, but they see something much more sinister at work. We see the Republican Party who has decided one of their goals is to bring God into schools. And that is the plan long term is to bring God also into the government. So to me, it's anti-American to try and bring Christian ideology into our schools or into our government. Our okay. country is big. Okay, they, they, the only thing they have to proclaim is Christianity. And I want to finish this video right there. You know, I've seen enough of, uh, you know, backwardness in these people and all you're going to know is that they you know that there are you know a few type of beings in this realm and some beings were created to to do this okay they're supposed to be religious they're supposed to do worse they're supposed to keep doing the same things forever okay it goes down to you know dna blood all the way down you know it's not something that everybody's born with uh, most people are being seduced some people are being uh, downgraded by you know juice and other stuff you know what i'm saying to stay in the foolery to never think outside and to keep repeating and expecting different results you know what I'm saying? So they are domestic people and they are, you know, wild people that, you know, think by themselves. So the domestic people will always think about things in this manner. Yeah. To the government, the, to the religion, then to the government that there is the God. And then to, they expect the, the government to solve their problems. Yeah, not to give them rights, to make them free, but to protect them and look after them. That's what this is all about. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to keep going in this video, so I'm going to stop. And I love you all. Keep the instructions. Peace.